Bastantes. Um, no, no, es, no sean estereotipos. O sea, eso es una de las peores cosas que puedes hacer. Pensar que un grupo de personas es esto por una persona que has visto es, es tonto. No puedes decir que una persona migrante, no por una persona migrante todos van a ser así. Puede haber una persona migrante que sea arrogante, que sea todo lo malo. Pero están ejemplos muy buenos. O sea, todos los migrantes están aquí por una mejor vida. Y si les brindas ayuda ellos la van a aceptar y ellos te la van a agradecer. No, no porque un migrante no lo haga o porque una persona no lo haga vas a estereotipar a todos los migrantes o a todas las personas. No puedes hacer que un grupo de personas sea mala por solamente una persona. O sea, eso es una de las cosas que me molesta de la gente. Te pone estereotipos a cierto tipo de gente o cierto tipo de grupo. Grupo étnico, grupo personal, grupo lo que sea. A un grupo lo ponen de estereotipo de malo, bueno, de tonto, de más inteligente, de arrogante, de no arrogante. Es, es muy tonto, no lo hagan. O sea, eso, eso está muy feo. No... No es bueno estereotipar a ninguna, ninguna gente. Aunque sean del estereotipo que ustedes crean, no, no estereotipen. Es, es muy feo. Ese es el mensaje que tengo. Uh, I, I feel that a lot of the people who are coming uh, feel like they're not being listened to. Uh, especially hearing people's stories about when they come to court to court dates here um, it's very sad to hear that they feel like they they don't feel like they're being listened to that they've made this journey and nobody's listening to what they have to say and these are stories that need to be listened to and need to be taken care like taking um, into consideration and so I, I found that I, I found that like you can go to a shelter and you start having a conversation with somebody As soon as you ask about their story, they're they're more than happy to tell you. Yeah. Um, you know, and a lot of it's they'll share what's what happened, why they're leaving, why they're coming, and you know, and a lot of the times I, I've I've experienced this a lot where people after they share their story are, are just very moved and very thankful for me just listening and for me I'm I don't really think about it. I didn't at least I didn't think about it all that much before when I started because I'm literally just listening to somebody talk, you know. But to realize that like this person has felt like they've been not heard and not being listened to for so long, um, and that me just listening was able to like, help them, uh, that, that's something that I'm like, wait, that, that was very powerful for me to understand and just to learn how to, you know, say like, like you mentioned, like just deal with these people because I feel in, In certain situations like these, it's very easy to feel like, oh, you need to be the one helping and you need to be the one teaching. When in reality, it's a lot of it's just sit back and listen, you know, and learn from what's going on, you know. 